Alright, I'm going to do a video on fire processing and what I find to work in my system and maybe you haven't tried and I suggest a couple tools. We have this buck saw. Is it Bob buck saw? Bob Destrude yeah. or something like that? Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It works pretty good. But it it's heavy and you can pinch your finger and it's a little wobbly. So... We don't really take that out anymore. We had the saw viver. It, it, you couldn't get it tight enough. It really wasn't all that great. And then we had a um, Fisker's bow saw from Home Depot, and it worked okay until we found another saw. That yeah, it was heavy good. too. It was, yeah, it was uh, really heavy. Still, yeah. still tubing. And then found Silky. This is a Silky Big Boy, 2000, and this thing is a beast. And then there's also Gomboy, Silky Gomboy, and it's nice, but it's not much lighter than this big boy. And this big boy, look at the blade difference. So you could get through really thick wood, hardwood too. And the weight difference, it's, it's worth carrying, in my opinion. But if you want to go light and you want to cut wood, this is a great saw. Yeah, it's good for like wrist size, maybe a little yeah, bigger than I'm that. I'm not going to do a demonstration on cutting wood, but by far, this big boy outdid this buck saw and this one. So that's the plus. And then I'm going to talk about a hatchet. And this is just a cheap Fiskars. I'm sure someone's going to leave a comment saying it's a cheap hatchet. And then this is a Schrade knife, but this is a cheap knife as well. And this thing actually works better than my Ontario RTAC 2. That blade kind of noodled on it. It's really thin. It's a lot harder to split wood. What I found in my system, these, this combo here is what I use. The Silky Big Boy and the Schrade. Let me see, I have it written down here. SCHF9 works really good. So I'm gonna do a demonstration on splitting wood with the hatchet. And the reason I don't like a hatchet is because it's kind of dangerous. And I have these two pieces of wood here and I'm gonna cut the thicker one with my knife and, then, and I'm just gonna baton I'm not even gonna swing it because I just think the swing of a hatchet is a little dangerous and here's my our baton we made Split pretty good you see how many hits it took Uh, it works pretty good, but I just think swinging it and all that, the dangers of it, it seems a little bit more dangerous than using the knife. And this is my Schrade knife. And it's a cheap knife, but I'll tell you what, it's worth every penny. And that was a lot thicker piece, too. We already had a fire last night. We're heading out today, so we're going to leave some firewood for the next people. Yeah, so that's what I think about the difference between a hatchet and this. Because if you miss, and we're only three miles back, you miss and hit your leg and you need medical care, I don't know. You're not having to, if you baton it, it's, I think, safer as well. And I know people are going to say, leave a comment about that or have something to say but especially for someone that's a beginner I would go with a knife and that's it leave your comments in the comment section below thank you